Hello everyone and welcome to Thoughts on Dragon Ball Super. This is episode 40. We are finally at the end of the contest. I mean, the tournament. The good news is that... Oh, well, here's the bad news. The bad news is that they could have just finished in a tight little bow in episode 39. But on the other hand, they did have something that was... It did kind of tie it over because... Me personally, it's like if in America we're going to have this... They're going to have, I would prefer they do episode 39 and episode 40 together. That would be good. Like a one hour thing because my gosh, oh, this is a horrible move you did making 39 and 40 and have to wait for it. It's like, I would prefer those two were together and then you had like one hiatus. Anyways, anyways, let's get on with it, shall we? Everyone's here to hear what happened in episode 40. So here we go. The result is... Oh, the barrier cracked. Everyone was holding for their dear life because... Whoosh, the ref flew away. <laughs> the Vados and Whis fixed it, luckily. And also, all of the platforms that everyone was sitting on and everything, those flew too. Those were actually about to get out of there. But luckily, Vados and Whis fixed it. Champa hurt himself because he stumped on his foot. Goku is up. Hit is up. Hit dodged an attack, he's still improving himself. Goku goes all out and, well, Hit smiled. Apparently, this is Goku's special ability. He says the Supreme Kai and Elder Kai. Yeah, they had a little funny moment there where they were like, hey, that was my line. And he's like, oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, we got round three. Hit is ready. Beerus ponders on the whole entire thing. We answers. Goku is going out down yeah he is going down because well you know how it is with kaioken eventually your body can't take much more and that was was going on and then champa actually decided to say get him now get him now take advantage damn it he's weak he's weak get him get him and you had Kaba, you know, the saying over there from universe six saying how hit would not like to take advantage of that and Champa snaps off and says, <laughs> yeah, he says it is between him and Beerus. You guys are nothing but pawns in our little game. Wow. Damn, man. He sounds like a godfather in a way. Yeah, he sounds like a cocky version of the godfather. So <laughs> Goku and Hit glares at him because of what he said. Vado sees, wants to see how it all ends. Goku wants to prove yeah, to Champa, that's not true, that they're not pawns. And then here we go again. So Hit was able to deal a few blows, and Goku is down. And Champa's like, yes, and Goku is now back up. Yeah, he was able to get back up very, very easily. And my gosh, why does he keep on doing that? Okay, there we go. Goku gives a major punch, major put to hit its face. Champa is like, ah, and Virus is like, yes. And Hit was not airborne anymore. Yeah, they were actually floating up, fighting. But yeah, Hit is exhausted. He's now on the ring. And Goku is exhausted too because of Kaioken, of course. And yeah, Goku forces his up. Yeah, he forces himself up from the ring. Hit does it too. Goku asks a favor to Beerus to say no more rules, that the rules of killing does not apply anymore. So Hit can go all out because he wants to battle Hit in his fool. So Goku notices that Hit was holding back. He wasn't seeing that all the way to the point of where he dealt a few blows previously. Yeah, the few blows he hit. Yeah, he now notices that he was holding back. Champa is played. Yeah. He actually says, yes, he is willing to actually withdraw the rules. And Beerus says he will not allow it. They both argue. While they were arguing, Goku's like, oh, we can convince him that we're not pawns. And then he all of a sudden goes ring out and withdraws. He withdraws and does a ring out. Everyone's freaking damn shocked. Those two are shocked. Hit is the winner. Goku's body gives out. Piccolo actually retrieves him. Naka is now up to battle. And for those who wasn't watching or wasn't playing with us, well, guess what? Manaka is nothing but a 
the stick. Was that it? I think that was in King of the Hill. King of the Hill when Bobby was in track. That's what Monaco really is. He's the stick. He's the person that would inspire Goku and Vegeta to be better, to be at their best and go forward. So Monaco is now up. Yes, he is now up. Uh, Beerus is so pissed. He goes to Goku and asks, do you know what you have just done? And Goku is like, yeah, Monaco is up. And <laughs> we is like, yeah, Goku is right. Monaco is left. Let's see what happens. Monaco is freaking the frick out. He is freaking the frick out. And Goku is like, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Woo! So he jumps down to the ring and he hits the ring very hard. I mean, he actually hits it in his on his head. My gosh. Then Goku still believes in him and Beerus says and knows that it is all over, man. We're doomed. We're freaking doomed. And Monaka is freaking out even more. And Hit is like, what's going on here? <laughs> and Choppa's like, go for it, take him out. One more person, we could do this. <laughs> Woo! So Monaka dealt a freaking punch at this guy. He dealt one punch. He didn't do crap to him. He didn't do crap to him. And Hit was like, wait a minute, not sorry. Yes, yeah, funny. Hit flew and did a ring out, and everyone's like, what? And I'm like, what? Yeah, so. To everyone's eyes, who doesn't know, because Beerus is the only one, Beerus and Whis is the only one who knows, and Monaka knows too, that Monaka's crap. He's just a trainee. He's a rookie. He's an amateur fighter. And when he gave the first punch and did the ring out, well, it's like, holy sh, he's nothing but Saitama now. Yes, he is one punch man right now. Oh, man. Yeah, so the fluke is still going on. The fluke is still going on. But, of course, I bet chances are he will never fight Goku. Yeah. As soon as you're able to part ways, Beerus is going to say, Monaco? What's Monaco? Well, he went somewhere far, far away. And he's going to protect Monaco from Goku because, my gosh, he would die. He would freaking damn die. But anyways... Woo! Beerus is like, my God! <laughs> so, Universe 7 wins. Our good universe of Dragon Ball Z has won at long last. Monaka did it! In quotations, did it. And Beerus is like, what? We won? So, Goku actually goes to the crowd. He thanks the Galactic King. And Goku shook what we thought was his hand. But it turns out... One of his tentacles was actually his Jing Jong. So, yes, he was actually shaking his, well, you know what it is. Some people call it a D word, four letters. Others call it the P word, five letters. I'll let you fill it in because I'm so not going to say it. <laughs> and I wonder what Funimation will actually do with that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what they're going to do with that. And I wonder what they're going to do with the whole... Boma's bust size. I wonder what they're going to do with that. Are they just going to put some random craziness? And most likely they'll change the Jing Jong thing into um, you're shaking my foot or you're shaking my leg. That's not my hand. Or he's just going to say it's not my hand. And for those who actually in to know, like watching this video, we'll know that actually he's shaking his Jing Jong. Well, technically what it said in translation was shaking his pee pee. So anyways, yeah, go with whatever you want to believe. But anyways, Ciampa, oh, frick, he's pissed the frick off. And Hit is like, I don't want the cube anymore. I just want to go home. So take me home. And Ciampa is ready to destroy the crap out of everyone. Yeah, and you had Kaba who's trying to tell him, calm down, man, calm down. He's like, no, I'm not going to calm down. And you have freaking Frost who still knocked the fuck out so he can't even protect his damn self. It's like actual rape for freaking Frost over there. He is knocked the freak out. You do not have his consent to freaking die. <laughs> He's going to get killed to the max. Woo! But anyways, Beerus tells Goku not to interfere because, well... So Champa is like the Godfather right now. He is ready to kill the crap out of him. And Bottles tries many times to get Champa's attention, and everyone got his attention. Yeah, I mean Champa got yeah, Bottles got Champa's attention. 
spirits got attention too because it's like looking down at the ring and it turns out we have the king of everything arriving. Yes, so someone arrived and it's the king of everything. He's a small mini week, so it's kind of sad. Figure the king of everything is big, unbelievably cannot be contained, but instead, no, 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 he's a small little guy. So we'll find out what's going on with that little guy very, very soon in the next episode. But me personally, I think this episode is very, very funny. Again, if they're going, Funimation's going to do this. Konami's going to pick up Dragon Ball Super. Please, for the love of God, just make a nice, decent one-hour block. I know someone you're going to have like a decent time slot, but I think for Dragon Ball Z Kai and Dragon Ball Z Super going side by side, even though I think they're running out of time. But even so, it's like, if they do those side by side, then the good news is that when Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super needs an extra slot, they do have one. So that's the good news. But other than that, i say this was a good episode to watch. If you watch subtitles, if you don't like subtitles, I hate it. You just like the Japanese language. Oh, this is not going to be for you. That's why you're watching this. That's for everyone else. Good one. Anyways, thank you for watching. Slash video, you slash whatever thoughts on Dragon Balls.